This is a quick video on using the Zanger volume ratio. This new tool from Dan Zanger of chartpattern.com is included with your install of 12.2 or higher of eSignal. So as long as you're an eSignal user and you have 12.2 version installed or any higher version than that, you will have this free tool included with the platform. So to begin with, you'll notice when you launch the application, there are tabs at the bottom and you'll have uh, a number of tabs that are pre-installed from eSignal. Um, you'll simply want to click the tab that says Zanger Volume Ratio, right at the bottom right here. Once you click that tab, you will see a box of two tools, one, the Zanger volume ratio over here and here in the chart as well. So those are the two places. One, two. Now to understand the application and how it's applied, the Zenger volume ratio is a formula, estimated percentage end of day volume. So real time throughout the day, the Zenger volume ratio is calculating to estimate what the end of day volume percentage will be by the close. The market is currently closed, so you're seeing ending values, but during real time, it's calculating that in real time. So in the case of Gilead, this stock did 255% volume. That's two and a half times normal volume. 100% um, would be average and um, would be 100% of normal for the last 20 days. And 255% would mean two and a half plus times of volume from what it's normally trading. You'll also notice that these are color coded and the categories are extreme, high, average, light, and dry up. The value of why these are posted here is simple. As you're using volume in the confirmation of trades, you'll need to know what that volume is to figure out how much conviction there is. For instance, if a stock is pulling back after a strong uptrend and it's doing it on light volume or dry up at the end, that's a good sign there are no more sellers left and the stock with stronger volume starts to move up and probably back in the direction of the trend will continue and follow through. That's a fairly reliable signal that a light volume pullback in a strong trend will be followed by a continuation of the trend. Now, Dan Zanger, who invented the tool, simply uses this in a far more advanced way, and that is to determine the conviction of pros and the market at key trading points. So if a stock is trying to break out of a multi-month base, an area that it could not leave for a long period of time, when it goes to leave that territory, it needs to do that on very high volume in order to have enough conviction to not fall back into the trading range. And so this tool needs to have high volume or extreme volume when it's leaving that range to show enough conviction that it can power outside of the prior um, area that it was caught in. Conversely, if that same stock breaks out and follows through and then pulls back and does it on light volume, that's a good sign as it's showing that it's not reversing and that traders are not throwing the stock in volume out and selling it down on volume. So we're looking for this tool as a confirmation of the condition of how much volume there is in the stock compared to how it's traded recently. Now there's also another field here called pace. And the way this is used is fairly simple to begin with. There are more advanced ways, but it shows whether this pace is dropping or increasing. So if you're on your intraday charts and you notice that SKX is breaking out of a key area and it's doing it on high volume, but this arrow is dropping, it is showing that that 184% estimate is falling back. It's not following through. And so that may be showing that there's a lightening of the volume and it's not persistent. Conversely, 
if Facebook is breaking out on one and a half times normal volume, 154%, and there's a green arrow at the time while you're watching the inner day, that's showing a follow through in the volume. And now we can see that in the case of Facebook in the chart. So here's an example where Facebook is moving up on strong volume here. The volume reduces in here to about average. Then it breaks out on high volume. Now notice it falls on fairly high volume. So the volume is in, the, in this fuchsia color. This is high volume and it's falling back. And then finally it breaks this descending line approximately here and the volume starts to ramp. This black line starts to ramp and the stock ramps up as well. This is the pace showing that it's increasing. So volume is high and price action is breaking up to the upside. Those are both a good sign together of volume confirmation along with price confirmation, which is exactly what the tool is trying to show. So to begin with, you're going to be using this chart indicator along with this tool to the left. You can add your own stocks to this list. This list has been populated by active stocks that Dan is trading lately. But you can add your own symbols here and view them both in the daily chart here in the bottom here and using the interim intraday chart to watch the volume pace as it's showing in the chart along with the indicator here. Now this tool does take about five minutes or so to work in the morning. Um, it's based on a five minute formula here on the Zenger volume ratio. You'll notice the number five up here. That means that you'll need to wait to approximately 936 Eastern Standard Time before it fully populates and starts to estimate what the volume is for that day on that stock. And as it gets through the first 30 minutes or so, it will get more accurate because it will have good data to show how much volume is really showing up. So this tool, again, give it about five, six minutes before you can truly read the volume percent for that day. Now, Currently, this is auto sorting. You'll notice there's a sort button here. And this is auto sorting to drop in these formulas so it shows the highest volume at the top. And that's a good way to see which one of your stocks have activity that day. So you may want to just leave that and add some of your own names to this list. That's a good starting intro video on how to use the Zenger volume ratio. We'll have additional video content on how to apply it in your own workspaces or how to use it in more advanced formats, but this is a pretty good start. If you want to find out more information about Dan Zanger, who invented the tool and his world record trading from $10,775 into over $18 million audited, you can go to our website, chartpattern.com, C-H-A-R-T-P-A-T-T-E-R-N, Dot com, or right on the right hand side here is Dan's Twitter feed. You can simply click on his name, Dan Zanger, and you can get to the site from there. Uh, we hope this gives you a good intro starting on using the ZVR or Zanger volume ratio. And if you have any questions, you can email us uh, uh, at um, support at chartpattern.com. Thanks and good trading.